Making a wreath with foraged greens is a great way to bring the smell of the forest to your front door. When looking for greenery, look for foliage that has various colors, textures, forms, anything that will add more interest to your wreath. A good rule of thumb is that eucalyptus, fir, holly, a lot of the evergreens are going to hold up better in a wreath. When clipping larger branches, think of it like pruning. Cut just above a node, facing the direction you'd like the branch to keep growing. When clipping smaller branches, just be sure to leave enough of a stem that you'll be able to tie the foliage onto your wreath. To make the wreath, you'll use clippers, wrapping wire, and a wreath frame if you're using one. Prep your greenery by cutting each branch into pieces 6 to 8 inches long. For any small branches or bunches of berries, bundle them together with a little bit of wire. Twist one end of your wire to your wreath form and wrap a bundle of greenery. Work your way around the form, overlapping each bundle and tucking in berries as you go. To create a more casual, free-form wreath, ditch the wire frame entirely and use the same principle of wrapping and overlapping foliage, just working your way around a branch. A good way to start is to use a branch like this one from an olive tree that has a bit more structure to begin with. When making your own wreath, just have fun with it. You can tie in succulents, you can touch up a few leaves with gold spray paint, really anything goes. For more ideas on how to decorate for the holidays, visit sunset.com.